You want to know what our full-time RV life is like? Our full-time berry picking life. <laughs> well, stay tuned. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and pick berries. <laughs> That's right. We've had an amazing berry picking life uh, these past a week or so that we have been here in Laconner, Washington. So we wanted to make a video about what we've been doing, what our life has been like, sort of a very slice of life that we share with you that includes um, what our plans are as well as what we've been up to. We've been asked quite a few times about just what do you do on a normal day um, as an RVer, as a full-time RVer? And it's really no different than living in a sticks and bricks house. Yeah. The only difference is you're not spending any time mowing the lawn or cleaning the gutters, weeding the flower beds. Yeah, there's not much of that out here. Well, life definitely feels way more exciting living out on the road than living in a house. And, you know, we're more connected with nature, I think, than living in a house. You're definitely more aware of the weather, the sun, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, the weather is a bigger issue for an RV than, than in a house. I mean, the wind, if you, we try to avoid areas where there's high winds. And life is also different from Sticks and Bricks in that we're out exploring more. We're seeing the sights and we're taking bike rides and seeing places we've never been before. But we wanted to do this video because we do get asked all the time, well, you know, let's do a slice of life of what Paul and Liz are up to. So we are going to share with you, first of all, where we are and what we're doing and what we're going to be doing. Yeah. Um, so I'll start and tell you that we are in LaConnor, Washington. It's way up on the coast and we're on a beautiful bay. Actually, we're on an island. We're on so an island. We're on That's Soldago right. Island in Washington. If you're not familiar with the area, you maybe you've heard of Anacortes, Washington. Or Whitby Island. We're close. Yeah. We actually Whitby see Whitby Island. Yeah. yeah. That's another one. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually probably the more common one that you'll yeah. hear. Yeah, we actually are looking at Whitby Island, I think, when we walk down and stand on the bay. So it's a beautiful area. We are in the absolute sweet spot of summer for Washington. The weather has been up to 65 and 70, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got into the 80s for a day or two last yeah. week. And the sun has been out almost every day. I mean, it's really been very sweet. And then speaking of sweet, uh, talk about our site. Yeah, we're in a, a site that is protected by, by uh, trees and blackberry bushes. So typically at night, we close all the blinds in our rig. We don't want the neighbors looking in and, you know, if someone's walking by, well, we don't even have to do that. Our site is so secluded. Yeah, we're, yeah, there's nobody can see into our rig unless you, they walk into the site. Right. But so the very first thing we did after we parked the rig when we got here, I guess about a week ago, is we picked blackberries. So we are going to share with you what we did with the blackberries, which actually was um, we made blackberry crisp. We used an old family recipe that I have and we had people come visit us and we gave them some blackberry crisp. Yes, we did. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they seemed to enjoy it a lot. And oh, speaking of fruit picking, one of the other highlights that we've had being here in Washington is we picked raspberries. It was the first time we'd been to a U-Pick farm and picked berries. Mm -hmm. uh, and I made a raspberry bunt cake and that was fun. And I put my own spin on that recipe that I found. And you added some booze to it. <laughs> I did. I did some spice rum to the recipe. So I'll put that in the description and the blackberry crisp in the description. And By the way, hi, Harley and uh, Ramona. It was very nice meeting you. And we also met another couple that watch our channel, Mike and Sarah from, I believe they live in the Portland area. Hello. I hope your trip home was safe and, sana and safe and easy. I also got to meet up with somebody that I worked with for many years. As many of you know, I worked as, as a field engineer for an auto manufacturer. One of the people that I worked with when she retired, she moved up here with her husband. We got to spend some time with them yesterday and it was beautiful day. Oh my gosh, we had a wonderful outdoor lunch and then Eileen took us on a tour of the island and we saw a beautiful Washington Park. We saw some overlooks and it was just lovely. It's wonderful exploring these parts and I think that's a big part of why RV life is so fun for us is that we get to go to different towns and explore different areas. And We've taken our bikes out a couple of times and one day we went not too far from here, and I don't, I can never pronounce 
the name of the preserve that we went kick into. It, kick It Island or something? Yeah, Kick It Island. Well, we, yeah. we didn't realize this, but we went where we shouldn't have gone, but it was beautiful. It really was. If yeah. you're in the area, we recommend that you don't bike on this island, but at least hike down to it. Yeah. It is just gorgeous. Yeah, on our way out, we actually looked at the signs at the gate, and it was a bicycle with a circle and a slash through it. <laughs> Whoopsie! <Oops. laughs> Another thing we did was we took a beautiful drive on Chuckanut Drive, mm -hmm. right? It goes up the coast between here and goes up to Bellingham. Yeah, it terminates in Bellingham, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Holly recommend the drive. It's just beautiful views of the bay and woods and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's quite scenic. Oh, it's and gorgeous. then it started yeah. at this wonderful valley that was all farmland. It was just pretty. It was just really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah I would not recommend pulling a trailer through there. <laughs> So we have a big trip planned and we want to take you with us and we are headed west about what 1200 miles about 1205 from from where we're currently sitting according to Google Maps. Mm -hmm. We're leaving in about a week and we are going to be crossing Washington and going to Idaho, Montana, South Dakota. We'll share with you the travels because this is a little different. So the last six months we've just been slowly working our way up the California coast and into Oregon and Washington and just taking our time but now we're actually going to be instead of spending two or three weeks in an area it's only going to be two or three days so we are definitely going to be on the move even our destination which is box elder south dakota and we're going there to get liz her official residency in south dakota well let's back this up so when you're on the road full time a lot of people don't realize this but you but you need to have an official address for your health insurance for the registration of your vehicles you need to have an official you can't just change your address every two or three weeks there needs to be one main one and there are three states that are very popular with full-time RVers to use as an address and that's because they are very cost effective it's lower insurance rates and no income tax for that state and yeah those states are South Dakota Texas and Florida mm -hmm. and we chose South Dakota mainly because Paul had already chosen it when we I, got together. I was already there, yeah. I had done my paperwork and residency stuff last year while I was still solo. So my driver's license still says Kentucky, but we have officially moved the trailer over to South Dakota. We need to move the truck over. And so I actually have to be there in person to do the driver's license. So yeah. that's the 1200 mile mission. Yeah. And that's the only thing that you have to do in person in South Dakota. You can do everything else uh, by by internet, but you have to be there to do your driver's license. And, and to be an official resident of South Dakota, you need to stay in the state one night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you have to have a receipt for that one night, so you can't just stay in a rest stop. You have to show the receipt. Yeah, you have to have a receipt from a hotel or a campground. A campground. Well, we'll definitely uh, keep you updated. We should probably do a video of some of that because people that are wanting to go full-time are probably curious. So we're excited to take you with us. These next is probably going to be a month of travel. Yeah, yeah it's uh -huh. a full month of travel because we have more places we're going to after South Dakota. Just keep watching and we will keep you updated. And we want to hear from you for video suggestions. What do you want to see us do a video about? Do you want to have more of Paul's tool time of him fixing stuff? Uh, do you want to have some cooking stuff or just more RV life? You know, we're open to anything and we're happy to, uh, to consider your suggestions. To, to share our lives. I mean, that's the point of this channel, really, is we're just sharing our, our lives as full-time RVers and, and showing what it looks like in real time. That's right. And we have a newsletter. You may not know this. If you go to our website, which is lizamazing.com, sign up for the newsletter. We haven't sent one out yet, so if you've already signed up for it, don't worry. We're just waiting till we have enough people signed up, and then we won't bombard you. But probably every month or two, we will share with you some deals that we have, some savings for RV products and just kind of give you a little bit of insider information too. Yeah, we're we're constantly reaching out to companies. Um, we just reached out to one this morning um, and and um, hopefully we get some partnerships and, and be able to pass on some savings to you on the products. Exactly, exactly. So that'll be a good a good resource for you. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And we're wishing you safe travels.